thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm so grateful to, uh, for all that you've done for community colleges. So first of all, I just want to give you a great big shout out for seeing the value of what we do here. Uh, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about what you're hoping to see us do this year uh, as community colleges in the workforce as well as educating our students. Well, Sally, first of all, thank you for uh, the encouraging words. And I, I'm, I'm proud of the 15 community colleges here in the, in the Commonwealth. Uh, and I respect their dual mission, um, both the, uh, the preparing of, of people for uh, four-year degrees who may not be ready for a four-year degree when they leave high school or, or um, uh, when life intervenes, as it often does, uh, and the workforce development mission, which is, uh, I think, particularly critical because we have... We've got about 240,000 people looking for work right now and 150,000 vacancies, unfilled jobs. And most of those are in the so-called middle skills uh, jobs, meaning uh, jobs that require more than a high school diploma, but not necessarily a four-year degree. In growing industries in our innovation sectors, clean and alternative energy, in life sciences, in biotech, in financial services, in construction, um, particularly as we're investing more in infrastructure. And we need the community colleges um, to reach that population and help them be ready for the jobs that are uh, that are coming. And uh, Bristol Community College really uh, is an outstanding uh, leader in uh, in connecting with the local business community and uh, and meeting uh, real and present uh, needs and needs that will arise in the not too distant future. So what did you learn today that you didn't know before you arrived on Davos Street? Well, I was, uh, I was very, very impressed by the multiple examples of partnership between BCC and the local business community, uh, from uh, uh, financial services to uh, precision manufacturing or advanced manufacturing, deep relationships um, around training uh, and improving the skills of existing workers, which of course then improves productivity, which then improves competitiveness, which means that there are um, uh, uh, job opportunities um, in the future. So uh, both for the here and now and for the future, really, really great uh, news. And I have to tell you, not surprising, uh, given uh, President Sprague's leadership and uh, uh, and his team, um, you know, they have had for a long, long time these kinds of relationships and to deepen them in this way uh, through the uh, facility here in Fall River, I think is a very, very important thing. Thank you very much, Governor, so much for joining us. Great to be with you. Thank you.